and we came with a lot of emotion, a lot of curiosity. Everybody, you know, really wanted to, you know, see what this young coach was all about. And then the only thing I asked was to give me an opportunity, and I think the, the people here in Nashville did that. And, uh, you know, I think about our first homecoming game. We set the highest attendance ever in a, a homecoming football game mm -hmm. at, at Hell Stadium. And then we went down to Memphis and had the largest crowd they have ever had in that Memphis Stadium. And mm -hmm. it, at one time, we had the second largest crowd in the state of Tennessee <laughs> last mm -hmm. year. I mean, mm -hmm. the, uh, you know, the volunteers were mm -hmm. first, and then we were number two, and then the Oils and Vanderbilt and the rest of them was fighting out the lower half. So, mm -hmm. you know, it has brought a lot of excitement here, and, and you know, I'm looking forward to the same thing to happen when we move into the new stadium mm -hmm. downtown. And, and, and so, uh, and what, 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 what is the attitude that some of the uh, players have in reference to that, now, that new stadium? Well, I think they're pretty excited because you always can say, how many one double A football teams play in an in a NFL football stadium? You know, that's something that we really push during recruiting. We took our recruits over there and everybody's, you know, looking and just say, wow, you know, and, mm -hmm. you know, when you play in an NFL stadium, you know that they'll be there kind of watching you and, you, you know, a lot of our guys' dreams are not, is to play in the NFL. So, mm -hmm. you know, it gives a always first hand and look at our kids. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Coach, uh, you talk about recruiting. Now, this is really, uh, about uh, your first real recruiting team, uh, is it not? Because uh, now you, you've been uh, somewhat, uh, I guess, uh, skilled or fortunate <laughs> to have been able to win an OVC uh, championship without uh, having had an opportunity really to recruit. Uh, most. Why right. don't you talk about that? That's an unusual kind of situation. Uh, yeah, you, you know, I, I came in an unusual situation. You, you think when I, before I took the job, we had three different coaches here in the last 10 years, and we still had uh, Coach Gillum kids, Coach Bill Thomas kids, and Coach Davis kids. So I had three different types of athletes into the program, and then when we came in, that was a fourth different kid. So every coach has different attitude, what he looks in, looks for in a recruit. So, you know, that's something that I had to form the rest of the three groups into what I believe in, and, and that was a hard, you know, a hard job. But we ended up getting them turned around here, and, and like you say, uh, we did it in three and did a, a we macros turn around. I mean, we ended up had to get rid of football players and bring new ones in, but this is the typical year of, of LC Cole's class right now, mm -hmm. the fourth year that we're coming in now. And now I'll really see, you know, to mm -hmm. you know, what have I done as far as recruiting wise. Well, and, and, and of course, uh, coming off of the OVC uh, championship, uh, Coach, I would imagine that uh, there are uh, many, many opportunities that are now available uh, to Tennessee State University's football program simply because of being victorious in the Ohio Valley Conference. And uh, as I think as you've indicated earlier, many of the teams that, uh, that you defeated are now uh, especially looking uh, to uh, uh, play you again this year, and, and, and certainly they want to burst your bubble uh, in a real sense. Now, now your first team, uh, what's that first game? What's your first uh, game? Well, uh, our first game is Alabama State. Uh, Ron Dickerson, who uh, was the head coach at Temple University now, he's the head coach at Alabama State. So that would be our first game on September the 5th. Okay, very good. And, of course, uh, Coach, uh, we let, let us take this uh, second commercial break after which we'll come back and talk about uh, some of the more recent developments in the uh, athletic program in at Tennessee State University. Thank you and welcome back to this final segment of the show today. We're talking to Coach Lawrence Cole, the head coach at uh, Tennessee State University. And of course, uh, Coach Cole, uh, during this last segment, let's talk about uh, some of the more recent developments in reference to uh, the uh, football program at Tennessee State University. And more specifically, uh, let's have you to uh, give us some information in reference to the NCAA sanctions uh, that, uh, Tennessee, that, that were imposed upon Tennessee State University quite recently and the impact that you think that those sanctions might have uh, on Tennessee State University and on your football program and your ability to be able to do what you have to do to repeat uh, the OVC championship. You know, it's, it's always sometimes you have to pay a price, you know, to be a winner. And, uh, you know, most times you be a winner, then there's always uh, sour grapes on your program. And, you know, like you say, how we turned it around, you know, we had to make some, some major decisions in the program. And, you know, we, we, we had some unhappy campers in our, in our camp and we made some accusations uh, to our program, which, you know, we still stands right now that none of that's true. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, as far as impact on the program, I think 
you know, if you're an honest person and you've seen what has taken place at Tennessee State and, uh, and what kind of program, you know, since I've been here, then I think that's the reason why we're still successful. And I think we will always be successful, uh, you know, just by what we're doing over there. We're not doing anything that any other school is uh, not doing. You know, Coach, you know, uh, also I think uh, quite recently you had a, a football camp. Uh, let's talk about that because I think that in, uh, before we talk about the schedule and perhaps some of the other things that you like to talk about, but I think that that's important. And I think it says quite a bit in terms of what you and uh, members of the football team are doing in terms of trying to reach out to uh, the younger people. Let's talk about that, uh, that uh, free clinic that uh, you're right. offering at Tennessee State University. Well, we had, uh, well, our coaches, we got together and we just figured, you know, since I came here, I, I felt that the community is Tennessee State University. And, and I still believe that you have to give back out to the community in just the way I've learned. I said, if you don't teach young men or, or, or students at Tennessee State how to give back, then they don't know, you know, how to do it. But what we end up doing this year, uh, we, we started a, a free camp. We're just charging $5. Mm -hmm. Kids get some free T-shirts. We give them meals. We give them